Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Today I have come up with another interesting Salesforce video. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up product rules in Salesforce CPU. So let's get started. So this is one of the bundle product which I have configured. It does have two product options and two features. Each product option is configured with each feature. So on this bundle product, I am going to set up some product rules. So for product tools, we have four product tools in CPQ, filter, selection, validation, and alert. So basically filter is if you want to filter out the list of products that uh, match certain criteria. So you will use filter product rule selection. You want to automatically select a particular product based on some condition, then you can use selection rule. Validation, if we, you want to validate some product that at this particular criteria, this product should not be visible or should not be added, something like that. And alert basically to it's similar to validation, but it will allow you to save the record. Validation will not allow you to save the record. Alert will allow you to allow you to save the record. So let's see. Uh, two product tools initially one is uh, validation and one is selection so i'm gonna go to the product rules tab i'm gonna click new so i am uh, i'm giving a name as uh, uh, let's say validate we, we will need to do uh, something validation so uh, let's say <coughs> about product code product code should not be included okay and the product code which i do not want to be included let's say so i am gonna give it as toner cycle let's say okay product code toner cycle should not be included the type i am selecting as validation a scope i am giving it as code so basically when you will go to the code you will select some products and you will hit save at that point of time this product rule will start validating the error conditions and if it finds the the error conditions it matches the error conditions then it will show the message which i am gonna give over here so i am giving the same name as the error that product code toner cycle should not be included and conditions met i am giving it as all and I'm making it as active and I'm saving it. Okay, so it's asking for evaluation event. So I'm gonna say, let's say always, but it's gonna fire only on click of save because it's a validation. Now click save. Now under the error conditions, I am gonna set up the error criteria, which will trigger this validation rule to be fired. So for tested object, I am selecting code line and tested field. I'm selecting product code operator. I'm selecting equals and filter type. I'm selecting as value and value. I'm giving it as not this one, just the code of this product, which is toner cycle. So I've given it click save now let's see it happening so this is one of the code and i'm going to edit lines i'm going to add product and let's say i am searching for copy or let's direct search for the toner recycle Okay, so what is the name of it? T O N E R. Okay, so toner recycling. I am selecting it. Click select. 
now i'm gonna click save so as you can see it is validating this rule criteria and it, sh it is showing the error message as product code toner recycle should not be included that's what we have set up so that's how you are you can set up the validation rules as one of the product rules now let's see another product rule as the selection rule so i'm gonna click cancel and in the same product rule i'm gonna make some changes first i'm gonna remove the error condition we will configure it based on the selection rule if we need it and in the rule itself i'm gonna make some changes first the type i'm gonna give it as selection and scope i will still keep the quote as the scope and conditions all conditions meant active as it is not a validation rule or alert rule so no need to provide any message because nothing it's gonna show as a message evaluation event i am keeping it as always now click save now error condition basically on which criteria the rule should fire that i'm gonna provide here so i am providing uh, the tested object as code line tested field again i'm selecting as product code operator equals filter type value and filter value i'm giving it as toner recycle i'm clicking save so that is our error condition basically when the code line does have any toner recycle then the selection rule should fire and do some action so that action we are going to define here so here i'm going to click new so type of the action we can uh, we can add multiple types of the action over here add remove enable disable disable and add enable and add enable and remove so like that there are multiples you can you can make any kind of selection rule based on the these provided values so what i'm doing is i'm gonna add a product when that product is there in the code lines so i'm gonna search for a product as copy binding module which is a a bundle product so what i'm gonna do is if there is toner recycle product in your code line then the system should automatically add the copy binding module in your code line and you need to make it required because otherwise selection rule will not work okay so i'm gonna save it now let's see it in the action i'm gonna go to the edit lines on this code i'm gonna add products and i'm gonna add toner recycle click select now as you can see i have already only selected toner recycle but it has already added copy binding module which is a bundle product these two products are under this bundle product so that is how you can enable and set up the selection rule which will automatically set up some product in your code lines based on some conditions that's all about this video if you like it please like and comment the video and for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bhagerwal thank you